Hello and welcome to a Label Tack Pro Tip presented by Creative Safety Supply. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a Label Tack label template from scratch using Microsoft Word. So in order to do this we're going to need to open up Microsoft Word. Uh, we're assuming that you've already got it installed. So just go to your start menu. Sometimes you have it listed in your quick bar. If not, go to all programs and scroll down until you see Microsoft Office and click on Microsoft Word. And Microsoft Word will open up into a blank document. Word is made basically for creating regular eight and a half by 11 documents, just a standard piece of paper. So what we have to do first is we have to change the document size. So the first thing we'll do is up in this tabs menu, we'll go to page layout. And you'll notice a number of page layout options here. The easiest way to do this is to click on this little thing here that goes directly to page setup and it will present us with this page setup window. The first thing we want to do is get rid of all of the margins on the document. So we'll click on this and hit zero. You can quickly move from option to option by hitting the tab key on your keyboard and then just enter zero, zero, and zero. Now depending on what type of label tag template you're trying to create, you can choose portrait or you can choose landscape. For most pipe mark applications, you will use landscape. So that's what I'm going to select here. We'll then go over to the paper tab. And the default, like I said, is set to 8.5 by 11, which is standard letter size. For the sake of argument, we're going to create a 2 inch by 12 inch label. So the first thing we're going to do is change the height, which, because we're landscape, that's going to be from bottom to top. We're going to change that to 2 inches and the width we're going to change that to 12 inches and you can see down here in the preview that's approximately what we want to see. Now the last tip for creating a blank template is to go to the layout option and remove the headers and footers. Just set these to zero as well. So go ahead and hit OK there. It's going to give you this, this error that says one or more margins are set outside the printable area of the page. The label tack is designed to overprint just slightly, so you don't have to worry about this. Go ahead and ignore this every time it comes up. And now you have a blank template. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and insert some text. So I'm going to go under insert and choose a text box. And just use a simple text box. All of these other ones have random colors. You don't need all that. Just go to a simple text box. And you'll see it preloads it with some sample text and it's highlighted. So just go ahead and hit backspace on your keyboard. And you have a blank text box ready to go. I'm going to do a very simple hydrogen label. So hydrogen spelled out. And I prefer to use a font that's a little bit more bold. So I'm going to go back to the Home tab here. And under the Fonts option, I'm going to choose Arial. Arial doesn't have serifs, and it, it just looks really clean, especially if you choose the bold option. And what you can do now is you should be able to move this text box around. If you have any issues with moving text boxes around, Word has a funny little feature where it wants to make sure that if you have text that's outside of the text box, um, it wants to make sure that the, te the text box doesn't overlap that. So what you'll want to do is make sure that your uh, wrap text is set to in front of text. That's going to allow you to place this box basically anywhere you want on this document. And I'm going to go back to home and I'm going to center this up just so that I can Make sure that's right in the middle. Now, Word does have a couple little tricks that are kind of nice. Um, the font up option, that just allows you to increase the font. And if you click that a bunch of times, it's going to increase the font size. Um, you'll want to make sure to resize your text box so that it accommodates the total text. And we're just going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Now, I would normally say we're done, but you'll notice these ugly black lines that are in here. Those black lines will print because the text box has a black line on the outside. So what we're going to want to do is get rid of that. So 
under drawing tools under format right here you can see that there is a shape fill and a shape outline uh, the fill is what's inside the box where the text is and I'm going to choose no fill and then as far as the outline goes I'm going to go no outline as well and you'll see a dotted line but when you unclick on it you'll notice that that black line is gone so we're basically ready to go with that and to make it quick and easy for you you can use the keyboard arrow keys to align text boxes exactly where you want them to be but the best way to do it is to use this align function that's in the top right here if you choose to align it to the center it will center that text box up just right now that we have our text inside our document here we are going to want to do a little bit more and what I want to do is I want to put a an arrow in the document but my document is a little bit small so what I'm gonna do is go back to page layout choose page setup and for the paper size I'm gonna give myself a couple more inches I'm gonna to go to 14 inches on the width and we'll ignore this again and now I have a little bit of extra space that I can use to put in an arrow now Microsoft Word is fantastic for this because it has built-in shapes for you to use. Basically if you go under insert there's an option for shapes and if you go under the block arrows you'll see a number of them here. I prefer to just use the standard block arrows and it gives you directions for all of those. So I will click on that and then just click once. I don't click and drag because I, I don't like to but if you click once it'll automatically put in an arrow here for you now there's a number of things you can do you can resize this and you can kind of squish it around and move it like this and then you do have the option of adjusting the head length of the arrow as well as the body width of the arrow using these yellow bounds that are right here so I think that one looks good right there maybe I'll elongate it a little bit and now I need to adjust the color of this so under format under drawing tools the shape fill I'm gonna set that to black and the shape outline I'm gonna set that to no outline and that gives me a very crisp clean right facing arrow so I have completed a template for hydrogen pipe marking labels with a right facing arrow so what I want to do now is save this so that I can use it for later. To do that you'll go under the file menu and click on save as. What this is going to do is give you a save as menu and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Uh, if you've installed the templates library from the label tax CD you should have a folder on your desktop called templates. Um, I haven't installed that on my computer yet. I'll do that in a future video. But for the time being, I'm going to make my own directory called Custom Labels. Just click on New Folder, and you'll see a new folder right here. Now that I have that, I'm going to double-click on it. So I'm inside the Custom Labels folder, and I'm just going to call this Hydrogen. And to be a little bit more descriptive for myself, I'm going to be extra explanatory here and do 2x14 and that's going to tell me it's a 2 by 14 label and I'm going to hit save now if I wanted to use that template again later basically all I need to do is go back to my custom labels folder and there's my custom label right there double click on it and the template is ready if you have any questions about your label tack printer or you are in need of additional supplies you can always visit labeltac.com. That is www.labeltac.com. And you can visit the support center, which will give you additional information for your particular model uh, LabelTac 4, 4 Plus, Pro, 6, and 9. And each one of these has a list of downloads, including the driver in case you lose your CD, a list of price lists, and a setup guide, and a number of videos like this one that help you do what you need to do with your LabelTac printer. Thank you for watching this LabelTac Pro Tip presented by Creative Safety Supply.